everybody welcome back to another vlog and my lash extension is in my eye if anybody has any tips on how to make lash extensions last longer i got mine done like literally i think wait what's today i got mine done a week ago and like there's already huge holes and gaps and like i think it's because i'm not properly taking care of them like i wash them but i don't know what else I can do anyways good morning i am currently getting ready to go to the hair salon which like it may feel like i'm going once a month and that's because i am and here's the tea um i am over the red era carrie's version like i'm over that that was a taylor swift reference for those of you who don't get it but little backstory in case you're new here i have been blonde pretty much my whole life um and recently i was really really platinum blonde and i was kind of just like getting tired of it and i wanted to change i wanted to try something new and i came to my hairstylist and i was like how would you feel about doing like a dirty blonde and she was like i and pretty much since she started doing my hair which is been like I think over a year now she has been asking if she can give me red hair she's like I just want you to be red like I feel like you would look so gorgeous red and it was something that I literally never even entertained until like a week before I did it I guess I'd kind of always wondered but it was like the one color I hadn't done before you know so we did it I loved it I was so obsessed with it the first time I did it it washed out in like two washes which is pretty normal for having that light of blonde hair underneath the red so we did it again and it was just way too dark and pretty much since then since that second time we did it like I loved it the first day and then the red kind of washed out and it was more just like brownish and now it's this sort of like I guess in this light it does look a little bit like coppery but my roots have grown in and like my roots are kind of like this mousy brownish blonde and like it's just I'm not happy with my hair overall and like since that second time we did the red I just haven't really been happy with it and she even fixed it like she redid it to red but it's still just never been the same and I don't know I kind of approached her about continuing doing red and I was like can we maybe get my roots a little bit lighter so it's like more of an all over color and what I wasn't aware of until my hairstylist explained this to me and if you're a hairstylist feel free to chime in in the comments but I wasn't aware that red hair was so difficult to remove like if you have dyed red hair and you want to go to blonde it's like pretty difficult so the more basically how she explained it to me was the further along I go on my red hair journey the harder it'll be to go back so I was kind of like dang I wasn't actually fully ready for the red era to be over the reason it is coming to an end is because I sort of feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place like if I continue doing more red it's going to be more difficult for me later on and even today attempting to try and make my steps towards blonde again is going to be a process like it's going to be long it's going to be expensive it's going to be difficult so just a word to the wise for those of you who have red hair or have been like interested in the copper hair trend i loved it when i first got it done i'm not as in love with it now i would love for it to be a little bit lighter and like here, I don't know if you can see this way, but when I hold up the ends of my hair to my roots, like you can see the difference. Like my roots are pretty dark, you know? So anyways, that was a really long explanation for why I'm getting my hair done today. But sadly, it's time. The chapter's closing. It's time to go back to blonde. Okay, just got ready and got dressed. Here's today's very casual OOTD because I'm gonna be sitting in a chair for like four to five hours. I feel like you can see the difference in color of my hair in this dirty mirror. <laughs> this shirt is from Abercrombie. It's the cutest little crop tank top and it's like a, I don't know, like not a moisture wicking material, but I feel like if I sweat in this, it wouldn't be a big deal. So love that. These jeans are from the last vlog or two vlogs ago. They're from Good American. They're the good 90s jeans they're maybe the cutest jeans i've ever worn my entire life and then my shoes are my platform converse that i already broke in when i was in la which is great and then my accessories are from unfortunately jeffrey bezos okay see you at the salon and hopefully we will start a brand new era today i'm so excited Okay, are we ready? Here she is, she's back. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting. I feel like every time I park in this spot and then you can't see it that well, but it's so much lighter and brighter, but there is still kind of like coppery bits in it. And I'm 
so pleased. I still have my money pieces, so it's like brighter in the front. It's a little bit shorter. She cut off, I think like two inches, she said. I'm so happy. It feels so good to be a blondie again. Like, I'm just a blonde girl at heart. That's just who I am. I heard that apparently Gen Z is like canceling blonde hair. Like they think that it's chuggy or something like that. I do not care. If there's one thing I'm gonna be forever and come back to always, it's blonde hair. Like I just love it. I need to head home now and fight this traffic, but I am so happy. So excited, like so glad I did it. I feel a million times better. I will miss the red era for sure, but we can always come back to it again someday. It just wasn't a hundred percent perfect, um, but I really, really love this, so yay. I remember the look in your eyes when I told you that this was goodbye. This lighting is sensational. Never mind. We'll talk later. Good morning. It is a few days later. It's actually like the following Monday, and I'm just sitting down <laughs> to do a workout, and I realized that my Apple Watch is dead. So I'm waiting for it to charge, and I thought that I would answer some questions that you all asked me on Instagram. Over the weekend, I was feeling in like a very, you know, chatty mood, and so I asked what you wanted to know. And while I'm waiting for my Apple Watch to charge, the reason I am using it is because I'm testing out an app for a potential brand partnership um, on my main channel, but I need to use my Apple Watch for it, so. Anyways, Layla is also here in the background. We'll start at the beginning from Alex Cameron, who's one of my favorite photographers and people to follow. I think she's lovely. Um, she said, if you moved to the UK, which area would you live? That is a fantastic question. Um, and I couldn't possibly choose. Definitely the countryside is what entices me. I'm not as into like the cities. I love the idea of like little villages and Drew and I have actually recently become obsessed with a show called Escape. What's the show called that we're watching? Ah. Escape, the Escape to the Countryside. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> That's basically like our dream situation. Like some kind of countryside cottage that has like access to the city would be amazing. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying this like we have genuine plans, but like we're being hypothetical here. That would be incredible. So literally like anywhere in the countryside, but like possibly, I don't know if, I don't know if it's the same in the UK as it is in the US, but like, you know, more rural areas are definitely less progressive. Um, so I don't know if that would be like the case, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, maybe someday. My friend Snitty Bipkins said, what is bringing you joy lately? So many things, um, like off the top of my head, sunshine, being outside, movement, therapy, <laughs> friendships. Getting older randomly is bringing me so much joy. Like I, there's just so much clarity and like self-awareness that comes with being in your 30s. And like, I feel like the more I progress in my 30s, the better person I become. And that's really exciting. Um, Layla, my relationship, my family. Yesterday, we had a really awesome day. It was Mother's Day yesterday and my mom came over to Drew's sister's house. So we celebrated Drew's sister who was a mother, his, Drew's mom, his grandma, like Drew's niece's other grandma. Like it, it was just a really great day. So that was really nice and just feeling very fulfilled at the moment, very happy. What is the 19-3-7 that's in the background of your filming setup? That's so funny. I get that question so often. There is a photo that Drew and I had made from like Decenio, I think, or something like that a few years ago. And it's our anniversary date. I think that's how Europeans do dates. Um, but people from the US are always like, what do these numbers mean? And it's literally just like a date. That's like our anniversary date. And it has like the coordinates and stuff of like where he asked me to be his girlfriend. But yeah, a lot of that throws a lot of people off. <laughs> Would love an ADHD update. If you're open to it, are you on meds? If yes, have they helped? So no, I'm currently not on meds. And I think I discussed this in like a past video, but I might not have. And yeah, just as an overall update, I'm currently not on medication. And I think medication is amazing for a lot of people. I just have a like a pretty severe phobia of medication. And it just started, it's like something that I need to continue to work through in therapy because I know ADHD meds help a lot of people, but I'm just being perfectly honest. Like I just, I didn't like it. It was giving me more anxiety being on meds than like if I were to just deal with my ADHD symptoms. So that's just kind of where I'm at with that. Hello. <laughs> Drew's coming down to get his coffee. So yeah, I'm not currently on meds. Would you ever cut your hair short? I'm gonna go with no and not for any other reason other than I had short hair for like the majority of my life up until probably like after high school. I always had 
like a bob, like a 90s <laughs> bangs and bob. And like, it's just, it reminds me of like me being a kid. Although I have seen some really cute, like kind of mid-length shorter haircuts, but as far as like short, short, I probably wouldn't. It's just not for me. You seem so light and happy these days. What has changed? I love it. Oh, that is so nice. I genuinely, it's just like my mental well-being. You're just gonna hear jets in the background. You might not even hear them that badly in this video, but I can hear them and they're really loud. But I just have been really like doing a lot of work on myself, like a lot of therapy, a lot of issues that I've worked on in therapy have been like really healing. Um, I, you know, cut out friendships that weren't serving me in my life at various points of last year. I'm not in a place where I feel like I'm constantly like walking on eggshells around someone or wondering where I stand with them or wondering if I'm like worthy enough for them or whatever. I feel like I'm in a really beautiful place in my relationship, like truly best friends, soulmates, like I love that. I don't know, there's just been a lot of healing that's happened over the last couple of years, so that might be why. Also movement has been really awesome, like it's just been a really big stress reliever, but don't get it twisted like, I definitely still have my days. Like last week was not great. I guess I just don't often document those. So I really only vlog like when I'm in a good mood for the most part. Although there was that one time I cried like a few weeks ago, but whatever. Are you house hunting any longer? Not currently. Sort of the, the like brief answer that I'll give is like what we were doing last month when we were looking into buying Drew's mom's house. If you didn't know, we were looking into buying Drew's childhood home. If you missed that, I think it's in the last vlog. And it didn't end up working out just like financially. It didn't make a lot of sense. It was going to be way too expensive compared to like what we were getting. And it just wasn't like, it wasn't a hundred percent right? The kind of reason that we were interested in that in the first place was just simply because it, we weren't going to have to, with her selling the house to us, like, you know, in a private sale type of thing, or like a for sale by owner, we weren't going to have to like compete in this crazy housing market. And like, neither of us really want anything to do with that. I saw some comments on that video and one person said that they had 12 offers declined on a house and i was just like i simply i'm too anxious of a person like i could not deal with that so we're not currently like on the market for a house at the moment with the market being the way it is like i don't want to have to get into a bidding war every single time and put in a bunch of offers and have them get denied and like you know i just don't want to deal with all of that i would much rather just like i said in the last video like appreciate this time that we have while we're renting and like not have a whole lot of responsibilities when it comes to a home and have the flexibility to move around when we want, maybe try different neighborhoods, maybe move out of state, like whatever. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. But no, we're, currently as far as like house hunting goes, we're taking a break. Favorite thing about Tennessee, Arizona, and California. Tennessee, my favorite thing is that everything's green. Um, I love fall. I love that my dad and my best friend are there. I love like the childhood memories. I love queso. Oh my God, if you know, you know. Queso is not the same in all places. And I totally recognize that like the queso in Tennessee is it's like white queso dip um, for chips. And like, it's from a can, but it's just delicious. Layla's snoring. Favorite things about Arizona. The winters are the most absolutely perfect thing in the entire world. Like. Arizona is the perfect place to live in the winter. I love it. There's always sunshine. I love that. Like there's rarely cloudy days. And then when they do come around, like it's actually quite nice. It's like refreshing <laughs> when it rains. It's like so exciting. I love monsoon season. I love our friend group here. I love that my mom and Drew's family are here. His nieces are like a huge part of our life. So that's definitely my favorite things. And then like childhood memories, like very, very young childhood memories here are really special. That was like a really special time in my life. And then California, oh my God. I love the beaches. I love the architecture. I love like so many of the amazing vintage buildings and apartments. I love palm trees. There's some here, but they're better there. There's so much culture. There's so much different kinds of food. I have randomly four of my closest hometown friends that ended up in LA. So that's really exciting. I love Disneyland. Like there's just so many things to love. So yeah, those are off the top of my head, my favorites. I will end it on this very polarizing question, which is crunchy or smooth peanut butter. And I don't know, this is gonna turn some people off from me, but I am a team smooth kind of gal. I am just a creamy PB kind of girl. My dad would disown me. He loves essentially like the crunchier, the better. My dad wants to eat a peanut sandwich and like, that's just not my thing. I want a peanut butter. The only crunchy butter that I like is cookie butter <laughs> with like the pieces of cookies in it, but I'm just a team smooth. I'm so sorry. Ooh.
So yeah, okay, gonna get ready, check on my Apple Watch, see if it's charged, do my workout, but I love doing these. I just think it's like so fun. So let me know if you wanna keep doing like little mini Q and A's and vlogs, but it's time to get to work. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me today for this vlog. I'm actually going to have a little bit of pool time. I have a lot of travel coming up this month. So for the last couple of weeks, I've actually been working like double <laughs> to try and get ahead on some work. So I'm actually gonna take advantage of that and really, really rest and enjoy it. So I'm going to sit on this hammock right here and then do some reading. And then I'm gonna get back in the pool, the little kiddie pool. I just filled it up with some clean water and I'm just gonna enjoy myself, read a book and do some freaking relaxing for the next couple of hours. But thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all my love and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.